everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to turn regular websites into Linux web applications. So to start off, I'll show you one web application I already have installed. And this is my to-do list, task list, tracker of choice, and as you can see when I search for it, it's just like a regular program, much like anything else on my computer. And uh, that's because of a program called Web Catalog. And I've already got it installed, but first we're going to go over how to install it. So what you should first do is check the description for the instructions. I go over every Linux distribution and how to install it in detail. But to start off, just go to webcatalog.io. And uh, we'll let that load. Now, as you can see by the demonstration here on the website, you pretty much just click install on an app and it works pretty flawlessly. And to start, it can be installed for Debian, for Ubuntu, and things like Mint and Elementary. You can get it for SUSE, Red Hat, CentOS, and such. Now I've actually submitted my own web catalog app and I, in I pitched this one to them and I can just click install and it'll make it as its own application. But the way this works is you can go through and say I want a Google Photos app. I can click install and it will install Google Photos. I can do the same thing for Skype, Google Earth, Hangouts, Microsoft Word, even Netflix, Google Docs, Contacts. And uh, once they're installed I can click open here inside of Web Catalog, launch it like a regular program. And uh, I can also just go through and search for photos. And you can see Google Photos is right there. And I can add this to my favorites on my dock here. And it's just like a regular program. It's very, very useful. So you can also customize Web Catalog itself. So when you're running an app, if you don't like the uh, annoying sidebar here, you want it to make it feel more like a program, what you do is click this gear icon. And then you'd click Auto Hide Menu. And then, of course, you have to relaunch the app. And the menu, there is no more top menu over here anymore. And we go back in here. You can also do Hide Navigation Bar. And if you want a dark theme, you can do that too. But I don't really like that, so I'll leave that alone. Once I close that, close that it just looks like a regular program. And then I can log into Google Photos. It's like any other program. As you can see, once I'm logged in, this is just like my Google Photos. So that's Web Catalog. And uh, last, lest we forget, this is how you want to install apps. So to start off, we can see the top apps area. And this is just like if I want WhatsApp, I can click install over there. And I've showed you guys all of that. But if you click the little hamburger button up here, you can click to install apps. And then you can just uninstall whatever ones you don't want. And of course, if there are updates, it'll show up right here as an update available. The only thing I really use Todoist, the only thing I really use Web Catalog for is for Todoist. So I'm going to keep that one, but I can just delete as many of these apps as I want. And the good thing about this is Web Catalog lets you submit your own apps. So <clears throat> I go over this in the article, but say I want Gmail, like it's suggesting, I can go and I can click submit. And now they'll submit it for review and they'll come back to me and they'll be like, oh, hey, you can install Gmail. And it'll show up in the top charts. And as you can see, I've already in, this one's already an app, so we can't really submit that. But the point is, this makes it so that if you like to make your if you like to have websites as applications, this is a way to do it. Web Catalog is very easy to install. Please check out the article. I go over it pretty in depth. Anyways, guys, this is going to be it for me today. I will see you next time.